Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and uh, as this challenge suggests, this is going to be me recording my quarterfinal game against Birdo since it's being played off stream. Um, we'll see how much actual commentary I do. He has self damage and brittly air. I banned his German control, he banned my German control. Which means I'll probably. St well, what do I think he's gonna start with? I'd rather have my U.S. into his air, and I'd rather have my Soviets into his Soviets. However, I think my Soviets is probably going to do better into his air than my U.S. will do into his Soviets. So, with that all being said, I think I'll start with my Soviet deck. Let me pull up deck lists here. I have my handy dandy notepad off screen. Not like a physical notepad, like a literal notepad. Er, by literal notepad, I mean the app notepad uh, to type things down. It's going to be Brit Air. So he got the best of the matchup pick. Um. 845th is honestly not worth keeping going second. Going second is already really bad. This is a really rough hand. Um, I think I'm favored on deck lists pretty hard, but I mean, something like this can always happen. I mean, certainly not over till it's over. Um, I can draw 52k, I can draw Fiat. 52k is going to be good. He floated two credits, which is odd. Must mean his hand's really bad. Okay, this is pretty big, because I can get 52k on board, and then even if he does, um, for example... Worst case scenario would be like Albacore, I guess, because then T60 won't guard it, but then I have T60 to kill. And once I'm, as long as he doesn't like turbo flood with like triple one drops cast here, um, I think this is looking okay. Ah, Albacore top deck, that's a nine. Is he just gonna finest hour it? Interesting. Um, okay. Line for a dig draw is actually really good because if he finest hours this Albacore now, and it really does look like he has finest hour in hand. If I can deal with the bombers. These seventh Alpini are really good at just stopping anything from getting through. I just have to be really safe about Parisies. That might have been a Parisie. I uh, no, I don't think he would have played a Parisie there. That seems like it would be a really awkward Parisie thing. I think Finest Hour is much more likely. Empire Strikes Trade. Um. Yeah, I mean, Yak is just my best play. Could be Raft. Could be Parasite, although I think I'm fine with that. Second cast. If it's second cast, Parasite on the Gladiator, that's probably just game losing without some good draws. I'm going to mill here either way. Um. There's the finest hour. And there's the Marinost. 
Um, So I think this line for a day just has to, realistically, has to hit the, uh, Albacore. Um, I mean, this is probably just going to be Alpini and pray there's no wrath. Partisan's draw here would be super clutch. Interesting. Um, I mean, honestly, I just don't have a better play. Looked like he didn't have Wrath like a couple turns ago. So if there is a Wrath, I'm expecting it to come from the left. Lend lease. Partisan's draw here would be pretty clutch. Um. <laughs> Every time. So there has to be another guard that comes down. I honestly think playing seventh, another seventh might be marginally better than 272nd, just because of the guaranteed healing, if he trades in, obviously. Um, on the other hand, 272nd just means if I can, like, stick a Stalin. He has two cards which can deal damage through this. I mean, other than, like, I don't know, something like Wrath, Parasy. Which could obviously go through. Uh, the good thing about the 270 second means that if he is doing a Raf Parasy play, he has to attack into the seventh and Raf the 270 second. Probably best to just hit this, right? And then play another seventh. Uh, and the great thing about this 270 second being on one is he can't shell in and then like do bomber's face. He could Monty bomber's face. I mean, uh, whatever. Um, he could also do shelling albacore. And like, if he has Shellin Albacore on the uh, tank that spawns, and then second finest hour phase. Oh. 
Like, this is the turn. He needs HMS. Lend lease number two. Interesting. Um, that's going to be another really big draw. I'm dead to double wrath. I'm not dead to double wrath if I play Mary Nostum. on the uh, 272nd. I mean, he didn't have Wrath like at any other point, so... Do I think he drew into two Wraths with Lendlease Monty? Can I reasonably play around that? I don't... really think so. Yeah, screw it. The reason that this might be bad is if he does Shelly in HMS. Are you kidding me? Thir fourth cast. Does he have the second empire? Kitty Hawk. Okay. Well. That was a very unfortunate game. Now I just have to beat self damage twice. Gonna bring Soviets again since it's favored. And if I can get like a very dominant win here, it might put him on tilt. Um, keeping Red Dawn for sure. A forty fifth. You just don't really want to play units early in this matchup. Hammer's a good pickup. Uh, five year plans also a pretty good pickup. Parade. Just give me something in the early game. I mean, going first. I feel like in this matchup. I would rather go second, but 5 year plan sort of makes up for that. I could have played Red Dawn there, um, just to like set up killing an SU or a 456. This play kind of gets farmed if I have a 52k. Which I don't. Um, they might find him getting another draw. I think the Red Dawn is more important than the card and the damage. Maybe. That might not actually be true. Um. The problem is I have nothing to do on 4, and I really need to save this hammer, I think. I also don't really want to take 3 damage, but... T80 is fine. Give me something good. 
think this is the single worst unit in my deck I could have pulled. Um... So I have to play units to not die. Um, is just red bannering that for a 5 drop better? I don't think so. And if I really need to go for that play, I can do it next turn. Bring on the red dons. Yep, double red dawn. Didn't hit engineers, which is interesting. Um, I think 52k red banner. Go for like an armored train or something. Something big that I can marry Nostom on. He doesn't run Ura, so I don't have to be afraid of dying. Are you kidding me, dude? I mean, at least this heals. No, it's when deals damage. It's not even when it takes damage. Right? No, it's when it's dealt damage. Every red dons that I heal three. Why is this a five drop? <laughs> I mean, if he has third red dawn, he has third red dawn, I guess. Um, I can't naval brigade into anything. Um, I can trade here and just slam naval brigade. So if I do this hammer, I heal nine, I go to eighteen, I drop to ten. Winter offensive puts me to six. Like, this is a very obvious winter warfare setup, but I don't think there's a whole lot he can do about that. I'm hitting his five year plans really bad as well. That's fine. Double Sunrise Division. He runs two Sunrise Divisions, and he had one five-year plan to perfectly put him to ten, and then... Are you kidding me? Like, come on. This is ridiculous, dude.
Um, so I can't put myself to one because I just died in Winter Warfare. Uh, which means 270 seconds is just the best play here. Come on. He hits his only two sunrises. Like, he plays Engineers, which actively stops it. Like, I'm not saying playing Engineers was a bad play, because he also didn't have Sunrise Division in hand. He top-decked it and got it off the fifth card from five-year plan. But, like, oh my goodness, dude. I mean, yeah, I on paper I was hard favored to win this entire tournament, but anything can happen. Um, I can kill one of them and play a T80. So I think killing one of them has to happen. Um, I mean, I'm dead to a couple things. Is it Naval Brigade? Or is it Third Red Dawn? Third Red Dawn. Well... I mean, congrats to Birdo, he played well. Just, wow. <laughs> I mean, I can't say it was undeserved by him, because he played well, um, and his his decks were fine. I think he brought basically the best possible meta list. Well, his, I think his German deck's really bad, but I had to ban it in this matchup anyways. Um, but, wow, was that undeserved loss from me. Holy crap. Uh, just an just, uh, end note on this. Let me look up my stats for these two decks. Well, I guess I only played Soviet Italy, so let's look up my stats for Soviet Italy against self-damage. 100% win rate. Soviet Italy against Britain Italy air. 100% win rate. So, yeah, I mean, what can you do? If the game gives you jack all and then gives your opponent double sunrise. <laughs>